Hello friends, welcome back to a new episode of Road to Rank 1 and today we're opening up against Mr. Gerald. We're currently 6503 MMR I believe, rank 11. Today hopefully managed to get uh, rank 10 or 9 and I think if we win this game we might just get there. Gerald's the type of player that likes to pile and wall in workers. Uh, he'll put a pile in uh, to, to lock in like a pro. That's something he loves, freaking loves doing. See, he was just trying it over there, little prick. You think I'm stupid? Well, he probably does think I'm stupid. Fair play to him. Um, PvP. I have, uh, honestly, a lot of uh, a lot of trust in my Protoss versus Protoss. I just, I keep winning. I don't quite understand why. I just, I just keep winning in this matchup. Whenever I play this matchup, I feel really good about my my chances. Really against almost anyone, I feel very strong with my all ins. I feel powerful when it comes to uh, just playing solid macro games as well. I think I'm actually weakest in the longer game, but I'm very good in the first five six minutes, um, and then I'm also good in the first four minutes. You know, like especially good in the first four obviously the first four minutes i understand they're part of the first six minutes as well but you know i i win a lot of games in the early game i win a lot of games kind of in the early stages of the mid game um, i don't actually think my understanding of the mid game is that great but maybe you don't actually need that maybe it's so it's been a lie so the mainstream media wants you to believe the guys on the team liquid forums maybe you need to be a complete player i just feel very comfortable in my early game and then from there on out kind of launch ourselves into good positions most of the time just some tight timings i was the other day i was biking around town just thinking about starcraft like i often do um, i feel like biking is the best you don't really when you're biking you don't really have to you know think a lot about the biking like biking is fairly you just your legs move around so there's a lot of time to think about starcraft related stuff what the hell is this guy up to like actually what the hell is he up to this might be like double adapt or so. Third gate is a good is a, is a good play, I think. So I think against a fast third gate. Wait, I was in the middle of a story. What the story was all about, I honestly can't remember. Um, biking. All right, and I was thinking to myself, I wonder if it would be cool if I just become one of these people that others are afraid of. You know, like. Like a guy that's kind of crazy, but just in PvP, not in the other matchup. I could also do it in the other matchups. Like a, just a, like one of the purest cheesers, you know? That's what I was thinking to myself. Like, what if I just become a really pure cheeser? That's what I was thinking. And I really like that thought. It's like just, just someone that, that just the entire time is freaking cheeses. Like his life depends on it. I don't know, there's something beautiful about that. There really, there really is something, something nice. Oh, he took a fast extra base as well. It's kind of interesting now that he did that. Do you think? Because he built a third. Like, am I crazy? He had a third gate, no? Definitely had a third gate. It's a terrible movement here by me. Third gate's still there. She's going to have some serious production as well. Okay, it seems to me like we're going to be uh, forced into a position a little bit further back. Now, there's some things we can do. You know what? If I want to become a, a proper cheeser, now now would be the time for me. Oh, this is not good. Oh my god, I'm a genius. Um, now would be the time to kind of, you know, to start that process. Okay, he should know right now that that was a fake one. Um, let's just get glaives then. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, I lost like one worker here. So we got the glaives on the way. So he's gonna try to get in here as well. That's interesting. Well, it's interesting. I'm not sure if it's interesting. No, it definitely was interesting. I thought it was interesting. It still was interesting. Okay, now we just got up to like seven gates or so. The fun thing here is that I just have full vision as well of everything that this guy is up to. You know what I'm saying? Like full vision of everything that he's doing. And that's definitely helping me out. It's gonna keep these two upstairs. Then move these over. 
Yeah, I, I, I knew he was going to have Blink available, honestly. This is one of the neatest supply blocks that I could have as well. Oh god. This is such a terrible supply block, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to think about it. Okay, either way, we're going for a massive push out right now. We're going to follow this up with a double. Yes, sir. Double forge. Now, the reason for that is because I want to upgrade. I probably should just get a fast forge with this anyway, so I can get a plus one upgrade. Huh? This is a pretty crazy move by him, not going to lie. Oh. I could swear that I, I was going to be capable of doing something useful there with my life, but I guess not. Okay, just gonna chase him away right now. Glory to the day long. Yes. Get these going as well. I wish I had more gases though. I also wonder what this actual uh, count of units is like right now on my side of the map. Well, it's a lot of them actually and i wonder how many units he has at home if i was him i would be getting yeah a lot of these guys as well it's actually a correct play i think okay so now he's gonna try and push in here we're just gonna put one force shield oh he can he should blink forward to kill this yeah it's a good move by him it really is uh, but at the same time, I, I feel like it might just be a little bit too late. I'm over here with a flanking motion as well. I'm not sure about the double forge behind this. I think I should have just had one forge researching crap, honest to god. I love that I was just killing stuff here as well. Okay, these can start attacking uh, the stalkers. Another reason why it would have been so freaking good for me to have that just have that plus one is because then i can three shot stalkers with my immortals obviously which is a, a massive bonus huh oh and now i can't now i can only however many shots i i need yeah not the greatest control i think i killed enough workers though huh i think i killed enough workers for sure just gonna keep this one on the side and I'm gonna continue warping these bad boys in as well. Jeep. Oh, that was real well done. That was really well done, honestly. Okay, now we're just gonna send this in towards the main base. I wonder how many workers I actually killed of this guy. You know what I mean? Was this enough? Because. I'm starting to feel like it might actually not be. Like, what's the chance that I, I ruined it all here for myself? He doesn't have a forward base. I, I got really afraid of that for a second as well. So, a couple of things is that he has these... Um, he, he has better... Is that what you call this? He's, he's better mobility. Uh, on top of that, he also has the disruptors, which scare the ever-living crap out of me. I think I'm gonna get better upgrades though. I'm gonna need to cancel this base for sure. <sighs> okay, this is gonna go in. He'll need to recall here. And I'm gonna hit him two spots at the same time. Jesus, good lord, that was terrible. really playing very fast at all dark shrine honestly feels kind of bad i don't really like my position all that much anymore Let's see if he has any vision on the map or around the map okay he has some vision how far away is my uh charge or my not my charge my uh the other thing my blink i really need blink i think without blink i could actually die he's sending these shots way too early that's for sure I lost so many units though, which is really stupid. If I had Blink here, he would be dead right now. Because I could have just blunkered on top of him. He's gonna move in this direction or what? Does seem to be the case, yeah. Okay, so we win this game. 
Um, that was really poorly done by him, honest to God. So I think I'm out expanding him in a pretty massive way. Um, I think my Dark Shrine was a was an idiotic idea. I'm just going to cancel it as well. So the only way I'm losing this game is if... There's, there's two things. DTs could deal serious damage. Come on, what am I doing? Love of God. Um, DTs could deal serious damage as well as... Um, if I walk into one of them, uh, what do you call these bad boys? Disruptor shots. Yeah, yeah. I don't actually really like how I'm setting up here defensively because I feel like we're really kind of lacking vision at this moment. This game is way more exciting than it should be. I should rename myself Cheese. I, I like I like how I play when I cheese. It feels good, you know. That would be a good name anyway, Cheese. At least I wouldn't mind it so much. Okay, just trying to get a read on what he's doing. He should have a fourth. He does have a fourth. It's good for him, really. That's a ridiculous shot. It really was. I'm not sure why he tried that. It's kind of expensive for him as well. He doesn't have so many shots available at all. Um, so here we go. And now it's over, I think. So, yeah, we're so far ahead upgrade-wise as well. Actually, we're, <laughs> we're not ahead at all upgrade-wise. Never mind. <laughs> we have two armor upgrades. <laughs> How did I do that? <laughs> I thought I already had plus two attack. That's my bad. Now we're just really far ahead with this supply. Though. Ah, comes a single G. I think that's going to propel us up at least a rank. Because we were rank 11. Yeah, okay, now we're going to be rank 10. Let's see where our next one is. Lam oh, we're tied to Lambo right now for the rank 9. And then there's a big gap between 9 and 8. But we've been uh, steadily climbing here. We're now above Spirit. We see the Cowboy, which is me at rank 12. I was, I was neatly uh, tucked in there together. It's kind of cute. All right, let's search another game. Maybe we get Gerald again. I wouldn't mind it. I like giving my opponents the opportunity to kind of avenge themselves. Um, although... Uh, just the opportunity they don't actually get to avenge themselves i'm a villain that doesn't make a big speech at the end you know i just stab the guy spider-man movies would be a lot worse if i was the main antagonist you know usually you're in the lord of the rings do they do big speeches no they don't do speeches in lord of the rings i think you know there's no big speech you just stab the guy spider-man i have you i don't even say that I just shoot him with my gun that i have tucked in my pocket all right next game actually got one of my favorite Zerg players currently on the ladder, Jung Jakov. I always play fun games against Jung Jakov, and I usually end up winning as well. Like, these are the two things that I want most in life. Uh, winning is actually more important than having fun. Like, I'd rather win a boring game than lose a fun one. But uh, when, when both of these two things come together, it feels very good. So let's hope we can make it happen here as well. Ghost River is a map that I truly do struggle with, though. Uh, in the, the Protoss vs. Zerg matchup. I struggle with a lot of maps. It feels like that a lot of maps are just bad for Toss in general. Um, in all matchups, but definitely in the, in PvZ Ghost River. I don't like Amphion very much either. Um, I don't like... Uh, what's the other one called? Post Youth feels very bad too. Crimson Court is practically unplayable. Like there's, there's four maps out of an, a nine pool map pool that... I personally don't don't think are good for Toss. Uh, that's frustrating because I do have to play them. Oh, what's he doing here? Feels like uh, like some trickery, huh? Let's see. Okay, he's saving up two larva. Means he probably got the oh. Um, this seems highly idiotic. He also is getting gas, isn't he? It's allowed. It's not against the law. At least not any laws that I'm familiar with. Um, so I kind of want to check the amount of... This is a weird build. Sorry. I'm just kind of thinking here what I need to be doing. So, because this is not super low eco, but it's also not super high eco. I think I'm going to throw down a battery, actually. I think it will be necessary. This is really bad. I wanted to check the amount of links that were going to come through. Not having that actually is quite going to suck. That's actually quite going to suck. Um, we're going to get this thing up. Then we get a battery. The battery... I'm not sure if that's necessary. 
I'm just gonna scout with another worker again. I, I think that is definitely necessary. And, and he also thinks it's important. Yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. I love it when this type of stuff happens. You know, it feels like I'm, I'm doing the correct thing in that case. It, it does feel like it. He finishes it. That is extremely surprising to me. Okay, we have one of these things here. I don't actually know what to do against this. This isn't even really map specific either, is it? Um, what a build this is. Kind of shocked. What if I take the, the natural on the third? location is that would that be good would that would that have been good this is why i need to keep needed to keep my probe alive if i see no extra links coming out and just pure drones um i can just take this base much faster i think before my third adept at least so he's gonna try to um actually what the hell is he doing yeah he's, i was gonna say he's gonna try to get that thing up one of these dudes I mean, unless these are all... Like, these are going to be cancelled, 100%, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I didn't start my warp gate either. This is one of the most awkward games I've played in my life. So, what are we going to do now? I want a nine. I'm very confused. I, I really want to watch this replay, though. It's such a cute build order. Seems to make a lot of sense as well. It's definitely, my, my opponent thought about this build. You know, you can you kind of feel that. Okay, there's a third base coming in. <laughs> mighty bad for me, mighty bad. It's the opposite of mighty fine. So the, the one nice thing is that I'm kind of keeping control of my opponent here. On this side of things. Uh, my work account is garbage. But really, that's the only thing kind of that's happening. I really need to watch this replay. I'm so freaking curious what the correct call is here. Because I just have no clue. I actually just have no clue. Just gonna get a, the battery over here. Like, my intu intuitions are completely off on this. They really are. Like, at least I, I think they're, they could be there. Maybe I'm, I'm a hat. I don't think I am, though. I don't at all think I'm ahead. Gonna need one uh, adept over here, just gonna chrono that out. The funny, uh, I, uh, sorry, 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 I'm not speaking so much. I'm just really, really freaking confused right now. Okay, so this was cute. It was a distraction maneuver there with the queen. I think this ends up okay for me though. Let it finish. Yeah, that's good for me too. This entire thing feels uber weird. I don't think I should be fighting this. I absolutely don't believe so. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm just... I built a sentry? I can't remember doing that. Don't recall sending in the sentry. <laughs> That's the, it's usually not a good sign. You sure don't remember this, Grandpa? No, oh, we don't. Dang it. Ooh. Ah, oh, I thought I had him there. My bad. That was a bad uh, pro pool then. <laughs> I really thought I had him uh, by the balls, to be honest. Well, why are these guys also stuck, huh? Oh, they stuck into a force field. Struggling a little bit there. Um, there's still an overlord in my main base. I'm gonna need to take care of that. This is an awkward... This has been such an awkward game. I just can't get over how awkward this game has been. Like, how awkward this game actually just has been. So we have a Roach Warren. Uh, he's gathering stuff here as well. And this... The thing is, I'm, I'm completely out of whack with my timings as well. Um... So, usually I'd say this feels a bit like a roach, the roach queen walk, maybe. You know, like a, it has some vibes of a roach queen walk, in a way. But my 
Blink is already done, so it feels like that would be a terrible call. And so far, I've been nothing but impressed with this guy's timings. So it's possible he's just playing a macro game from here. I'm just not sure what my position is, like, whatsoever. Um, we're about to figure it out, though. This, this feels like a fully saturated base. Um, but he's also now building Ravagers. Which is just a bit sussy, you know, in and by itself, really. I'm not a, a huge fan of the Ravager. Oh, you're gonna go back home, aren't you, buddy? Hey, that snipe by itself is not necessarily sussy. The complete lack of stuff here, though. Not a fan of that. I got a Templar Archives as well. I, I need to see if drones are popping out. Oh, he doesn't have an extra gas. Never mind. I don't need to figure anything out anymore. They just lose that, didn't I? Okay, so I, I, I don't have like a hard confirmation here, but... Now he's building drones. Okay, I have no clue what's going on. He's, he's really... He's, he's messing with my hat. He's been messing with my hat for this entire game. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, it's really difficult for me to speak when I'm trying to figure it out. Usually, I kind of know what direction I'm going in a game, you know? And like, I still have a general concept of what I want to do, obviously, but... <sighs> he went for a very high road count, I thought. Maybe that was just a lie. He went for plus one melee as well. It's bad of me to not have figured it out earlier, obviously. I'm uber supply block too. Just gonna keep these guys on the side. Probably just want a, uh, a, 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 a tiny wall over here. God, my supply blocks are never ending today. Huh? Okay, just making sure nothing weird's happening there. Okay. Oh, I can hear him here, no? Most definitely. Okay, we lost a lot of workers. That's not bad necessarily. Although I do believe we've lost this game. So then losing all your workers is pretty bad. But only if it ends up you losing the game. I'm not sure if I have lost the game though. I'm so confused. I thought I also was going to be capable of uh, dealing way more damage to his uh, workers on the other side. He he actually pulled relatively quickly. I have 62 boys right now. I need some more storms. This has been such a confusing game, honest to God. I hate every single second of it. I knew it was coming there. I saw it on the minimap. He's slow with the response. It's good for me. Really? No, no, please, please, please. I don't mind some losing some workers, but the probes? No, thanks, sir. Or sorry, no workers, but not the Templar. A couple of workers. Uh, it's not the end of the world. Mm, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> Spasmed or something. <laughs> that was a good time for me to <laughs> to store my own Templar. Not only did I waste the storm, I also, <laughs> also killed the Templar. So it's like double waste. Although the storm technically did do something. To kill, kill the unit worth 150 gas, which in and by itself, I mean, that's a good, decent enough performance. <laughs> he can't be, can be proud of himself there, you know? Um... I, I'm not quite sure what I want to do, though. 
I think I want to get some... Okay, I already have one of these. I was going to say I want an extra one. I get some of this crap. And cannons, I guess. Hey, there's a kind of crazy move here. Going into to this general area. I think I'm... Uh, Where's my other rest of my area? Intensely weird game. He was still on Lair Tech. I would have never guessed that either. What an intensely weird game. What a cute strategy, though. So, okay, let's have a look at this. Because I overreacted to what he was doing. I did not require a, a battery in the wall at all. But I couldn't know that because I lost my probe like a little idiot. I only do that if I see extra extra boys, I think. Oh, did I even scout that? Wait, had I scouted it already? I did. I scouted the hatch. I wasn't aware of that. That's really stupid. Oh, I feel dumb now. Because if that hatch is there, I know there can't be a queen. And then it's just drones. I still wonder what the correct call is in this case. Because this is a pool first. Do I get the Zealot double adapt? And then I take a Nexus on my third ASAP, I guess? The thing is, is that because speed is nowhere nearby, I'm not so afraid of this thing whatsoever. And I can I can have like one Zealot, one adapt here, and one adapt chasing these links while my Nexus is going up. I think that would probably be better. Because now we end up in this really odd scenario where... I guess I have some map control, so it's not the end of the world, but his base is much, much quicker than mine. His queen count sucks, though. It really does. But he passes me before the... Be like, at the 30, so he's ahead. He's ahead right now. I need to deal damage, but I deal damage, and he's low queen count still. I have three oracles versus four queens. So I think I'm actually just fine. Going for the faster oracle was an okay call as well. It wasn't brilliant, but it was fine-ish. Yeah. And then I made some mistakes afterwards. It just, this entire game, it, it completely confused me. I was, I was very, very confused. And my storm honestly was very late. So when I saw these roaches, I saw roaches early on. I really believed we were, I was getting roach rushed. And as a result, I went for fast robo and I skipped my Templar archives for quite a while. And it really bit me in the bum when he came in with the Baneling attack and I didn't have storm. Like I'm, I'm just so uh, non-confident in anything that's happening in this game, because I'm not familiar with anything. So I cancel, and I build, and I cancel fort base at 9 minutes, okay, I guess. And then, boom, just as I'm starting to set up the, the way that I like it, he starts moving out on the map. It's very difficult, especially on such a small map where you have extremely short notice. Like, this is a smaller map than any other map. Um, so you have very short notice already, and then on top of that he's playing something completely weird to make matters even worse fun game though and i won just like i said at the start doesn't it young yakov provides fun games and i usually win i really thought i died here had i had storm it was like seconds away like five seconds if my force was had been good maybe it also would have been fine it's awkward situations yeah here i thought i was really dead but he also lost some workers i think yeah we're both very low in worker count I thought he was like 82, 83 workers at this point, and I was completely gone. I thought he was tacking into Hive already. <laughs> That's why I built the extra robotics facility. I thought I was going to get Ultra soon. But it wasn't the case at all. This is a really fun game. Nice. And he's going to uh, let me, you know, get Lumbo uh, out of the 10th the place. Nice. Gained two ranks today. I'm very happy with that. Fun games as well. I'm also very happy with that. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see all of you next time for a new video. Thank you so much for watching.
and bye bye.